In this video, we're going to talk about phase difference. Okay, and this is basically, well, let's just write it down. Okay, phase difference between two waves, right, is represented with the symbol delta phi. Now, first of all, we must understand that phase difference can only happen between coherent waves. And when we say waves are coherent, it means they have the same wavelength, frequency, and speed, like what you see over here. These are coherent waves. But incoherent waves will look a bit weird, like one of them could be this, and one of them could be doing this, and that's just something we don't really look at in A-levels, right? So basically, when you look at these two waves, you can see that they are slightly misaligned, and the phase difference is just a way of representing this misalignment. So what we do, we look at uh, two points, two similar points on the wave. So for example, here and here, right? Technically, we are looking at two points that are in phase, okay? Uh, in the same phase, okay? But of course, uh, an easier, easier way to think of it is that they have the same uh, similar points on the wave. We want this separation here, and we're going to call this delta x, right? You could choose any a pair of points look at like here and here this should also give you the same delta x or here and here okay and uh, if you take this delta x as a fraction of the wavelength of the wave by ratio this must be the phase difference between the waves over to pi and so rearranging we can find the phase difference or the representation of the misalignment between these two waves as delta x over lambda times 2 pi. That's how you find the phase difference between two waves. Um, you may also be asked to find the phase difference between two points on the same wave, and that is also very easy. So this is one wave. They could ask you, say, okay, find the phase difference between this point and that point. Right? And so what you do, you find this delta x, Okay, and apply the same formula 